Against an armed robbery, we must know when is the right time to comply and when is the right time to use our firearm. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson out of Macomb, Mississippi. Shows us an armed robbery here that's one of the crazier ones that I've ever seen. It teaches us some very important lessons about awareness, particularly in transitional spaces, and also shows us about the timing of compliance and maintaining our awareness to look for our opportunity. We see these ladies are going out of the store at the end of the night, and I have a little information here that the lady on the left with the reddish hair actually has a firearm on her carried appendix. The other gal does not, and they're locking the store up for the night, but we're gonna learn some important lessons here, and we're gonna kinda learn them as we go. As they're locking up, first of all, about being aware and seeing this kind of threat coming, but by the time they see it, we got two guys with guns, another guy with a knife, and they have those guns trained on you. So if you have a firearm on you here, they, they got the drop on you, there's not much you can do. And so you see her complying and kind of, she puts her stuff down, she puts that hands out posture, and now it's all on them. Now the other gal there, they're trying to get the keys from her so that they can get the door back open, and that's exactly what they're doing. It's taking them a while. But if you have the firearm on you here, this is not the time to go get it because it gets you in a spot where you're gonna draw from the drop. You cannot do that. You gotta wait for your opportunity. Now, what we're gonna see here as this one goes on is you can see that our defender here is dispirited. She's like, man, they got me. What am I going to do in this instance? And sometimes, guys, the answer is nothing. You can see her here. She's got a gun right to her back and the guy has a knife on her as well. So as they're coming to the back, she doesn't really have any options. The only thing that we can say here is to maintain your awareness, to try to find your time to defend yourself. And you can see you're getting really frustrated as the other gal there is going down into the safe and getting the, you know, the registers and all that stuff. Fine, give them the money, whatever. The money is not the issue. It's your life that you wanna protect and you wanna be careful with. So as she's helping them, we're gonna see our gal here who has a gun on her, is trying to protect that. And look at her hands. You can see her trying to keep them from seeing she has a gun. She's trying to keep her hem down and she's trying to lay down on top of it so that they don't find it. And you can see right there, she's laying on her belly because she's trying to keep that from happening. I got that as insider information from uh, the guy who sent it to me, who's a friend of hers and has helped train her. Now she's trying to walk away, but now he's got her by the neck there and he's got it stuck to, you know, that knife stuck to her throat as well. And so she's just trying to keep them from seeing that she has a gun and trying to keep them from getting a hold of it. And you can see her holding that hem down with her right hand pretty strong so that they don't see that she has a gun. And my guess is that she's worried about it. So sometimes guys, the right answer is compliance. Simple as that. Even if you're a firearms carrier, if you don't have the right time to launch a counter ambush, if they do a very good job of keeping you from gaining an advantage at all, you gotta just sometimes recognize, hey man, I don't have the opportunity to protect myself here, and you gotta hope for the best. Now clearly, if he started stabbing her with this knife or something, we'd, we'd just do what we have to in that moment, taking the injuries as they come, but she doesn't have that here. He's still threatening her. He's trying to get here into this back office. There's nothing left in there, and so she's like, look, there's nothing in here for you. So now, as they're gonna grab the stuff and leave, that's it. I love the fact that as they're gonna pull out of here and, and run out with their loot, that she doesn't follow them with the gun, that they she lets them go, and that's that. Guys, sometimes this is the best answer, is compliance, not drawing your gun when you don't have the opportunity. Let them have the money and go, and cover your asp. Thanks for watching today's active self-protection lesson. I hope it helps you with your attitude, your skills, and your plan to keep you and your family safe. If you'd like another lesson in a similar vein, click right here to go see our most popular narrated videos. If you like what you see and you don't want to miss them going forward, please subscribe via the button right here and turn those notifications on so that you get notified every time a new active self-protection lesson posts.